Hi, I'm going to talk about cooling of graphic cards, um, mainly air cooling. Uh, as you can see in, the, in this picture here, this is my CPU water cooler. And when I first got it, I had one fan. Then I thought, well, why don't I have a push pull configuration? As you can see here, uh, I've changed both fans to keep the CFM identical. And I also dropped the temperature by about 6 or 7 degrees. Both fans are run off the same header in parallel. So they run at the same speed and controlled by the same header. Anyway, when I realized that the, the CPU was cooling with a push-pull configuration more efficiently, I started looking at graphics cards. As you can see here, I got a 5970 and I put the aftermarket cooler from Accelerate Extreme. didn't like this cooler because it kept the hot air inside the case. It also meant um, to fit it properly I had to slightly bend the PCB, which is no good, so I sent it back. So I started looking at push-pull configurations for graphics cards, like I said. I then got an ASUS GTX 590. This consists of two GTX 580s mounted either end of the card. The center cooler fan blows cold air half out of the back of the case and half into the case. The air that blows into the case was causing me some problems. There was pockets of air reaching 50 degrees centigrade. This is when I decided to look at the push-pull configuration I'd applied with my CPU and apply it to the GPU cards. I decided the best way would be to remove that hot air altogether by means of a duct. So I took some measurements and made a duct out of balsa wood. I fitted a mini Kazi fan which runs at 4500 RPM and removes about 28 CFM of hot air from the case. It is removed directly via this hole I cut in the case. This solved the problem of the hot air pockets, for the time being at least, until I decided to get a second GTX 590. The duct I made would no longer fit because it was fully enclosed at the bottom. I now had two GTX 590 graphics cards blown hot air into my computer. As you can imagine the temperatures skyrocketed. This time they were nearer 60 degrees. I knew the push-pull configuration was the way to go, so I made a bigger duct with an open bottom. I fitted the same mini Kazi fan this time as it had proven itself the last time. This is a duct in place. Case temperatures then went from around 60 degrees back down to ambient temperature. This time, however, the lack of airflow at the top card made that one slightly warmer, around 10 degrees warmer than the bottom card. So this was the next problem I was going to solve. I knew from experience now that the pool configuration was about as good as it was going to get. So I decided to try and assist the, the stock fan, make that a bit more efficient. Now because of the narrow gap between the graphics cards was so small, the airflow was restricted. So I was going to help the fan by blowing air onto that. Rather than one fan and 90% of the air missing it, I decided three mini Kazis in a row would do the job. So here is what I came up with. I also thought it would be a good idea to do a pull configuration for the graphics card exhausting out the back of the computer. This will assist the stock fan. So I did. I made a box, stuck an 80mm fan on it with a nice high CFM, silent fan, and that reduced the card temperature quite significantly as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I gave you some information that you could possibly go and use yourself. Anyway, here's the final findings and temperatures.